Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about loops and we are going to learn how to use loops in Ansible. Uh, probably in many of the programming languages, you have already heard about loops and you already know the concept of using loop. We are going to use loops when you want to iterate over something, okay? That can be a list, dictionary, or basically any, any iterate, iteratable item. Okay, so in Ansible, we generally iterate over lists and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's create a sample uh, playbook and let's start with something very easy or easy to understand so let's call it uh, loops demo.yml and now uh, we are just going to give a name to our play so let's call it uh, loops demo play and uh, this one let's run it only on 192.168.1.20 Okay, so we are going to run it only on one server. Okay, we are targeting only one server, but uh, you can put anything. Okay, if you want to target it on multiple servers, you can do it, but this is just a demo. So let's target for one server. And then what we can do is, uh, I would also disable gather facts. Okay, because we don't really, in this lesson, we are not really going to use system information. So there is no point of uh, running gather facts. And then let's go ahead and start adding our task. So first task, I'm going to run it, uh, let's call it uh, loop over all the fruits or we can call it loop, loop over all the softwares, okay, whatever. And then let's use debug. For now, we are just going to basically show all the items which is available in a list, okay. So now before I put anything in the message, I would like to tell you what we do is so this is a task okay and we want to uh, you know we want this task to loop over something okay so the syntax for that is loop and then we need to provide list of items here so i'm just going to say uh, let's say we want to install wget we want to install uh, we want to install any other software like apache 2 any other software like uh, telnet okay and probably you know the list can go on and on there's no point of you know uh, putting 20 items but this is what you will do generally you know you will have have list of items for example which you want to install and then you will go ahead and install those list of items uh, but in this case we are just going to display uh, just going to loop over all these items and just going to display the name of this that's why i'm just using debug module i'm not using package module i don't really want to install it I just want to you know demonstrate the concept to you so now what we do is uh, once we put loop uh, we can refer to these uh, these items using item okay so this is how you you loop over all the items now if you want to sh uh, print something you can do that as well uh, this is software okay and let's save it and run it loops demo we also need to provide inventory file okay so here you see what has happened is it has looped over each of these items so this is a software and first software which it displayed is wget second one is apache 2 third one is telnet now let's open it up again now rather than you know putting these items here in the loop what you can also do is if you have a variable for example let's say let's declare a variable and let's give a name to this variable like fruits and under this variable we are going to put list of fruits so let's call it apple uh, let's put another one orange let's put one more mango okay now we want to loop over all these items which is available in this variable so for that we can what we can do is uh, we can get rid of this and then we can say loop over this variable which is fruits okay let's save it and let's run it so you can see we didn't change this message but here you can see the you know, each of the fruit names has been iterated over so what loop has essentially done is it has looped over each of the items now let's go back and see what else we can do so now in loops we have something which is called uh, loops control so we are going to use loop control as well let's call it loop control 
and under loop control we have we have some options index variable so let's call it index pair and then we can specify uh, what we want to call this index variable okay so uh, basically index variable is going to help us know the index number uh, which it is iterating okay so let's say if you want to like in a programming language when you are iterating you also know the index number so it is uh, quite same concept okay so let's call it index and then we are going to use value of index as well so we are going to say item is available at index position okay and let's run this so here you can see the message which we got is that apple is available at 0th position orange is available at first position mango is available at second position okay now let's go back here now here you can see the label which we are using to iterate over each of these item is called item but it's not really uh, quite you know intuitive name and so you may want to change it and in order to do that what we can do is there is a variable which is called loop variable okay and we can call it fruits so now what we can do is uh, we can't really call it fruits because we are already using this variable name fruit so let's call it fruit and now rather than using item we can use fruit here okay let's run it again and now you can see okay this this is looking much much better now uh, one more thing which we can do is uh, let me show you the output again okay so if you see what is happening is uh, for each of the item wh what we have is we also have this this something you know which is called uh, which is called label okay so if you want to change this label also to something else you can do that as well okay and that also you do it using label okay under loop control so under label let's say under label what i want is uh, let's say we want to use i think it's not really a good example of showing label but anyway let's just put uh, something okay run it and now you can see item name is equal to something okay so because we hard coded it so we are just seeing something but if you want to change it to something else you know probably uh, what we can do is let's say i don't want to use something i want to show index position then i can do that here okay and in that case probably we also don't need uh, this message okay so i'm just going to remove it so we know it's fruit name and in the label it is going to show us the value of the index okay so let's run it and here you can see item 0th is apple item 1 is orange item 2 is mango okay so that's all about loops this is you know this is all you need to know about loops now uh, if you have any question uh, please feel free to write in the comment box i'll be more than happy to answer all all of your questions and if this video helped you, do not forget to uh, say thanks in the comment box. And you can also comment, uh, connect to me on LinkedIn or other social media platforms. So thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next lesson.